uh, here we go. The third attempt at a roulette with Japerius5, someone who I agreed to be a YouTube rival with him because, you know, I enjoy his videos, he enjoys mine, so we thought we'd give this a run. And this is the third attempt. Um, so, I hope you like it. Oh, no, you're not going to like it. It sucked. It was a long ass piece of crap. Just full of Star Wars and bullshit and hacks. Like that right there. But yeah, I encored his yawn because I didn't want him to set up Stealth Rock because you will find that out later. And I stayed in here because, yeah, he was going to get up Stealth Rock eventually. I knew that. But this guy had a sash, and I was just like, oh, I'm, uh, I want to keep that. So I'll just keep him in and do what I can. Which is why I stayed in after he swaggered me. Because I was like, you know what? If I hit myself, Sash is gone. If I switch out, Sash is gone. But there's a 50-50 chance that if I stay in, I'll keep it. And, you know, I don't want him to get switch advantage on anything better with the U-turn. So I just... Oh, and if I did not hit myself, I would have 2 hit KO'd the UFC probably. So that was the whole thought process behind that. And so I bring in um, Miss Magus on the Snorlax to hopefully, you know, make him think he can stay in. But he switches out, which was like the best thing he could have done. Because this is a special wall, Miss Magus. And you go, and I suppose getting this off on a cosmic power, Clefable, is like the next best thing I could have done with it because cosmic power is a bitch and now he can't like do crap and the whole time I thought like he's gonna toxic me he's gonna toxic me because like seismic toss he can't you know do that and who's gonna seismic toss he wants to get off a of toxic while he's alive because you know that's more beneficial but so that was why I switched to this guy to dodge a toxic because I thought that's what he was gonna do but he just says, Psh, I'm going to predict you, Seismic Toss, because he knew I could switch. Which I suppose it had good logic behind it. But there, you can see it going down. Die, Cosmic Power, bitch. Okay. And now because I'm asleep and I'm screwed, I have to switch out. And this is like a lot of special defense, right? So 283 down to 144. So, and with the leftovers, I should be able to live that and pain split my way back to, like, half, like a good amount. But this critical hit right here, that literally cost me the fight. That cost me the fight. The worst time a critical hit could have happened, and as soon as I saw my HP go past, like, 20, I knew we got the crit. And now that Snorlax is going to just, like, walk all over me. But I get that thing to sleep, which is nice. And I go to this guy because I want to set up Reflect because I know Snorlax is just going to kill me. And I will a wisp because, I like, I don't know, it'll whittle him down. It'll make him have to rest and burn his chest -o. And I just, I'm thunderbolting because I have nothing that I can do to this thing. I have nothing. And now he rests because that's what he does. But, and when he switched out on Miss Magius, and then after you'll see he switches out here I know immediately he has earthquake and body slam he can't touch any levitating ghost and I, I'm ashamed I didn't realize that earlier but again not much I could have done about it but now he's got a snorlax that can't touch my ghosts and I've got ghost right here that can't touch his snorlax and that just sucks so he's gonna he's gonna like swagger me around here this is where like stalls kinda come up he gets paralyzed so I get off a of swift, and then he swaggers me, and I'm like, you know what, I'm really not going to be switching around with all this stealth rock going on, and I know he's going to U-turn, and again, I don't want him to get switch advantage on something else and make me have to switch, causing more stealth rock, so I'm just going to stay in, and he's going to U-turn me, I know it's not going to kill me, but, like, well, I don't know, whatever, and he goes to a laddie ass, laddie ass, which I picked again, which kind of annoyed me, because I was like, are you kidding me? I could have sworn I picked different numbers. And I get a crit, and yeah, but that crit did not matter nearly as much as the crit on Miss Magius. That crit just made me whittle this thing down. And I could have taken this thing down with this guy later, Ice Beam, if I had to, because he probably couldn't one-hit KO me. But that, like, so those two crits, I know what you're thinking, Tiberius, crit equals crit, 
but oh, you have no idea that crit did so not matter as much as the crit on the Miss Magus. I'm sorry, but it's the truth, and that just opened up a whole can of Star War up later. So, um, I hit him with a Thunderbolt, because I know he's going to dodge the Will-O-Wisp, and I need to just whittle things down. And, uh, Toilet Duck, oh, like you haven't seen that name around YouTube before. I honestly did not know. I named this thing because I was just like, hey, it looks like a duck, whatever. I, I probably got the idea from somewhere, but I had no idea, like, five people had that name. So I just feel like a complete dickhead because, like, everybody has that nickname. But whatever, it's Pokemon nicknames. No need to throw a fit about it. And so I Thunder Wave because I need to keep this thing alive because in the back of my mind I'm thinking, oh, Latios, i got to keep this thing for Latios. That's what it's going to do. So I'm just trying to kill him with keeping myself at a, with as much HP as possible. And with the light screen up, that seems very doable. And with his light screen up, I have to 2 hit KO with Ice Beam. And that was his light screen, because I have light clay. Yay! And, uh, mine over matter. He told me that. I did not figure that out. Mine over matter. I was just like, I have no idea what that says. But whatever. Uh... Yeah, this is just walls attacking walls, and it takes, like, forever to kill stuff, even though it's at, like, a fifth HP. And there goes my light screen. Or, I don't even know. Whatever. And this is, like, something I'm going to speed up a lot, and it is just lagging to hell. But basically, like, he dodged my Thunder Wave, and I'm just breaking his subs with Thunderbolt while he's trying to get off a Swagger. It's really fast, really boring crap, you know nothing really much else to talk about I was trying to think maybe I could predict when he would predict I would Thunderbolt and he wouldn't sub and then I could paralyze it but I was just like oh, I don't even care I'm just gonna try and kill it whatever and hopefully not hit myself and this is why roulettes can sometimes suck usually they go by quickly because you just kill shit quicker but this is a bad example of a roulette and because, you know, our first two ended up in disconnects, I really think that God did not want us to, you know, finish a fight. Because as you'll see later, with a Snorlax that can't touch my ghosts, and my ghosts who, like, essentially can't KO the Snorlax as long as he's got rest, I really didn't want a PP stall. So, you know, we had to draw it, or otherwise we would have gone on for another five hours, and this was like an hour long anyways. So I go to this thing because I know, you know, he can't touch me, but I can't touch him either. And he's going to start cursing, um, hoping that I will get annoyed first and switch out and eventually try to do something. But I had a plan. Uh, I wanted to burn it to whittle it down there, and I'm just going to keep attacking to whittle it down and then, oh yeah crit nice see crits all around even when they're totally useless and right here this was the ch one chance I knew I had to do something I predicted the rest and brought in Scyther the bane of st whose bane is stealth rock and this is the t only time I knew I could get him in I got so I knew I could if I predicted a rest I could get two swords dances and hit him with a life orb brick break and see how much it does. I have no idea how many curses he got up. I lost count. So I, I predicted the rest, got my swords dances, and with the life orb, hit him with a brick break, and it only did a half. In the words of Russell Peters' father, that is disgusting. So we decided to run. Good game to Pirius. I hope we get another better fight later. All you guys watching, I'm sorry you had to watch that because it was really annoying. But, you know, rate, comment, subscribe, because better ones will come. I've been delayed a lot, but work, um, blah, blah, blah. Enjoy. Forgive me. I'm sorry.